it's almost six o'clock, uh, December 18th. After uh, working with the bread box water heater for a while, I realized that in the winter, it just doesn't get enough sun trying to come in from the top up here. So what I did was, is that I cut out this big panel right here with the Sawzall and my Dremel with the uh, cutoff bit. And I cut a big hole in the side of it. And you can see the tank right through there. And this is a painted glass right here. And we should, I should be getting a lot more sun coming through this now. It's going to be especially good in the winter when the, uh, the sun is so uh, low in the sky on the south. Um, I do want to um, just give a little warning, a free tip to you do-it-yourselfers out there. The refrigerator on this part that I cut, there's a little bump right here at the top and there's this huge piece of heavy-duty steel that runs all along the top. So what you want to do when you cut it is don't cut up as high as I did but cut down just like an inch lower. And you can tell where to cut where that bump ends. So you'd cut right back here. Otherwise, you're going to run into that piece of steel. And steel reinforcer. This is where the steel reinforcer was in that groove. And this is the steel itself. So I had to cut through that because I didn't go down low enough on the on the side panel there. So just so you know, that was a tough way to go. It took me three days to cut through that because my arms kept tingling from the saws off. In order to support the glass, I brought out some of my big round washers, metal washers. Sunk them down into the polyurethane uh, foam. And I put one on both sides of the glass. And I did that every wherever it was wiggling a little bit but that glass is solid now I can push against it and it's not given well here's the solar water bread box with a new addition because of the winter uh, low sun I installed a front window uh, so it can catch more sun um, and framed it out what I had available was this skirting edging and a little bit of the uh, roof edging oh. <laughs> roof edging right here I also uh, seamed off the edges there with uh, some of that HVAC aluminum tape inside outside I also uh, underneath uh, here I put that uh, heat uh, resistant silicone so now you can see the tank right through the glass there. So it's getting sun from this angle here and this angle here on top. The roof is reflecting sun. So we'll see how that goes now. I like that a lot better. So we'll see how she goes. I may be getting hot water here. Uh, Mom uh, and I did find a uh, temperature gauge that I like better than the one I had in there. This one here um, is a oven thermometer. It's showing 100 right now and it's pretty darn cloudy day. Even on a cloudy day like this we're getting 100 so that's pretty good. Wow. Proud to say that the bread box water heater is done. Everything I can do to it. Now we're just waiting for hot water.